at ShaneStars with RoyalMotorX.com. And today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I've been running on my Galaxy Note 2. This is AOKP MR1 Alpha 3 by Slick Rick. He's the one that's ported AOKP over to this device on Verizon. It's not yet official for this device. In fact, there are a few bugs, which is what I want to talk about first. They're not really huge. In fact, I've been running this as a daily driver for several days now, almost a week. And I've had no issues at all. My data connection is solid. My phone connection is solid. All my apps function properly. Uh, the only thing that's not working, and I have tested this, is the Bluetooth. Audio streaming is not functioning at all. NFC is said to be flaky. I haven't even tried to use that, but he says that it's flaky. And let's see, one other thing is that the GPS is also a little flaky. So you may or may not get a signal on your GPS using this ROM. Everything else works and uh, there are no other issues whatsoever. Another thing I want to talk about is the battery life on this ROM. So we'll go into settings and we'll go down to battery. Now I've been using this for you know ten and a half hours. My screen's been on for almost four hours and I'm still at 34 percent. So I mean I've been using this thing non-stop for YouTube, for uh, streaming podcasts, for looking at Twitter and Gmail uh, like I said, pretty much all day non-stop and I'm still at 33%. Uh, so this ROM has really been excellent on the battery life and that's one plus of the CM10 based ROM. Uh, so this is based on S. Bryson's CM10, but it's been ported by Slick Rick. So we'll go into About Phone and you'll see that we're running AOKP. Uh, Android version 4.1.2 and you'll see the kernel version there as well and this is the unofficial build for the i605 from January 5th. So this ROM comes with everything that you know and love from AOKP. We'll jump into ROM control so we'll go to settings and ROM control and general UI has lots and lots of settings. You can add a custom boot animation so you'll have to actually download a bootanimation.zip from the internet, throw that on your SD card, and you'll be able to flash that from here. You can disable the boot animation altogether. Uh, I just kind of stick with what it comes with. I actually like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, you have your custom carrier label. So when I drop down my menu, you see Droid Modder X down there at the bottom. So you can choose a notification background. So you just go to your file manager, and you'll find a background, and select that and that will apply the background and let's see here for me it worked the first time and that's what stuck so if I tried to apply a different background it didn't stick and I'm guessing in this beta version you'll have to actually uh, you'll have to actually wipe data before you can add a new notification background but you guys see uh, that is just a neat little feature there you can show the notification count which I have enabled and you gotta have pretty good vision to see that right now it looks like I've got two gmails and uh, my vision is not perfect, but I can see that, and this is very small. You can force tablet UI, which is pretty cool. If you select that, you'll have to reboot your phone, but you do have that option. On a phone like this with a 5.5 inch screen, that is a neat option to have. You have the LCD density. You can choose your LCD density, and you can allow 180 degree rotation so that you can rotate your phone all the way to upside down. On this phone... Um, if you have your chart, you know your charger ports on the bottom, so that can help at times. Then we have our lock screen settings. You can choose uh, the menu unlock. Use the menu key to unlock the screen. You can choose a lock screen wallpaper. You can choose lock screen text color. Uh, you can actually choose a volume wake and volume music control. So from the lock screen, you can skip through songs with your volume rocker. Pretty cool. Uh, you can change the amount of lock screen targets. And you can actually set your lock screen targets here as well. So the way you would do that is you would just uh, drag it over and then you would choose an application and then click save. You can enable the weather widget. Uh, with GPS being flaky, it may or may not give you detailed information. So now if we go to our lock screen, see it actually did. So my, my uh, GPS picked it up and I have my weather information there on my lock screen. That can be flaky at times, but as you guys see, it worked perfectly for me there. So back into the lock screen, um, I think that's about it. Power menu, if you press and hold power, there's your power menu. You have reboot options there. You can reboot directly into recovery or download mode, and you can add some 
toggles to that screen here. Navigation bar, you can choose to enable that so you can have the software navigation bar. I prefer the physical keys, it does come with them. I don't see why you should take up extra screen real estate with software navigation buttons. Uh, you can change your menu lo location and visibility, navigation button quantity, navigation bar color. So there's several options there if you decide you want the software buttons. Battery, you can change your battery icon style. I prefer text only, but there's several others to choose from. And you can have the My UI or MiUI battery bar that just makes a bar across the top there. And you can change the color of that as well. It's pretty cool. Clock, you can choose center clock, which is what I prefer. You can choose the AM PM style, day of the week. I normally know what day of the week it is, so I don't use that. It just takes up extra space. And you can change the color of the clock there as well toggles that would be your pull down toggles here i have this style of toggles although i normally like the regular icon style because it just uh, doesn't take up as much space in the notification drawer but with that white background that i can't change i'm not able to see them i'll let you see what i'm talking about here if i go to the button type you can't even see them there because they're clear uh, but if you have like a back a black background that will work just fine you can change the toggle style and you can change the color and you can change the toggle background let's see here like so oh now I can see them hmm and I just found that pretty cool change the brightness location uh, if we pull down the bar we can actually slide across and change our brightness which is a really neat feature there signal settings LED settings, this would be for your notification. You can set your LED to display different colors when different notifications come in, like red for email, uh, blue for Twitter, and so forth and so on. Pretty neat feature there. S Pen gestures. So you do have some S Pen functionality. This is totally AOSP, but um, Slick Rick has built in some S Pen functionality, which is really nice, and you can play around with that. Sound options here, weather options, and vibrations. Uh, you can customize the vibrations uh, so that you can know who it is that's calling without having to have a ringtone turned on so that's pretty a pretty neat feature very useful performance uh, this kernel is not able to overclock so maybe in a future build they will have an overclockable kernel of course you could put a custom kernel in here and you would be able to overclock it here you do have some governors to choose from but there is no overclocking so you're stuck at the stock speed of 1600 megahertz, which is just fine. Uh, as you can see, this thing really does fly. There's really no need to overclock at all. If we go into the app drawer, see just how fast it is. No need to overclock. So that's really not a killer there. Anyways, guys, that has been AOKP ROM for the Galaxy Note 2. We're going to go ahead and install it. You'll need the AOKP ROM and the G apps. You'll need to be unlocked, rooted, and you'll need to have a custom recovery installed. So we'll just reboot into recovery real quick. Okay, so to install this is very simple. We're going to wipe data, factory reset, so swipe to wipe. Cache, swipe to wipe. Davit cache, swipe to wipe. And then we're simply going to install our AOKP. We'll install that first. Swipe to flash. Give that just a few minutes to install. And then we'll install the G app, swipe to flash. As soon as that's finished, we're going to go back and reboot the system, and I'll leave you guys with the boot animation. So guys, that has been the AOKP MR1 Alpha 3 ROM by Slick Rick. Uh, one of my favorites right now. Excellent battery life. It's very stable, minus the few little bugs that we mentioned there at the beginning. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Note 2 and other devices. And uh, be sure to check me out at droidmotorx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, guys, Shane Stars at droidmotorx.com. Android and iOS have the mobile marketplace on the lockdown, but does that mean that there's not room for a third mobile operating system?